everyone, I'm Esther J, also known as Esther Vescent, and today I wanted to make just a normal vlog. I wanted to talk to you guys, I wanted to tell you what's been going on, I wanted to catch you up on a few things, and I wanted to fix, rectify, I'm not sure which word is correct, but essentially explain why I yet again used my famous, famous phrase of I'm back, or I'm going to make loads more videos, and I didn't. I'm also going to say this is probably going to be quite short, but every time I say that the video is over 10 minutes and thus not really that short. The reason I didn't make a bunch of videos like I said I would is in lockdown I think the majority of people thought or were very very proactive in doing things, doing things that they never have time to do, finishing projects, starting new projects, and I too had this intention. But I think as quite a few people discovered, I've actually been quite busy even though we've all been in our homes. I've been doing several Zoom calls a day, I'm sure Zoom is a raging success right now. I've been planning things that I'm going to do, I've been helping people with different projects and things that I could, I've been spending lots of time outside because there's been such amazing weather. The weather has been unbelievably wonderful and warm and un-England like especially right now we're having a bit of a heat wave so if I look warm and if you're wondering why my hair's in plaits it's because we're in the middle of a heat wave I think it's like where's my thing it's 26 degrees in my bedroom which is one of the cooler rooms in our house so yeah it's a little bit warm I know I'm not tanned I have, I promise you I've been spending time in the sun, but as pale and I have so many ginger people in my family, I am unable to tan, so I will remain this pale self forever. But like many of you, even though I had the best intentions to make new things, make loads of videos, write some songs, do a whole manner of exciting things, I also spent a lot of time doing what you could call nothing. For me that looks like spending some more time having some long conversations with my family, playing some video games that I've put off for ages because I've been too busy, reading more books than I have in a really 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 long time, journaling way more. I've always been a massive journaler and I love um, journaling as a way to process your feelings and your thoughts and all of that. Um, and I've been doing so much more and it's been so positive. As many of you know, I am a Christian and one of the most important things for me is spending time with Jesus and spending time focusing on God and really digging into him and trying to read my Bible more. I've read my Bible more in the past, how long have we been locked down? Three months? Than I have in a really, really long time because I've always said, oh, I'm too busy, or I'll read it at church, or I'll read it at Bible study. But I've been spending more time having some really, really valuable personal reflection with me and God than I have in ages. I'm not gonna say that my lockdown has been perfect. I'm not gonna say it's been one of the best times of my life, because of course it hasn't. If you're at all like me, I really, really, really love hugging people. And I haven't been able to hug anyone for the longest amount of time other than my family, who thankfully have put up with my incessant need for hugs. I miss the little interactions that you have with people when you see them at college or school or work. I've missed being able to meet with my friends at church. I've missed out on the end of my college course. But one thing I've tried to focus on, as I touched on in my last video about thankfulness, is actually, though I have missed out on things that I was really looking forward to or I thought were always going to happen, I've been able to get a new perspective on a lot of other things. Another reason I haven't been making videos is a couple weeks ago when I was going to make some videos I fell off my bicycle but that is a whole like I guess story time. I've never made a story time video that'll be good. That's a video I'm gonna make. I fell off my bike and it was really kind of bad. Wear helmets and be safe and uh, signal with your arms and if you're driving on the road be aware of cyclists it's very important but I'll make another video about that and 
there's a lot of reasons that are within those other reasons, but that is why I haven't been making so many videos, why I haven't been able to communicate with you guys and do what I said I would do, but I have some very good announcements about that. But before that, I do just want to say that taking time uh, for self-reflection and for focusing on God uh, and my faith and what I'm doing in my life, my next steps. I've just finished college, which is really weird. Taking that time off to focus on some of the things which matter most to me, like my faith and my family and my friendships, has been really, really important and really, really revitalising. Because of my thankfulness thing, I'm really very thankful that even though I don't think any of us expected this or wanted this to happen, it's actually been a really beneficial time um, and it's been something that I think I really needed and I think a lot of people have realised that and had very similar thoughts. That's not to say that this time has been entirely easy and breezy and just wonderful and the best ever because it hasn't, of course it hasn't. Be encouraged that if you do feel like I haven't done anything in three months and I don't know what I'm doing with my life, which I think a lot of us feel like. Be kind to yourself, let yourself realise that maybe you needed this time and for some practical things I'd recommend that I do very very quickly. Plan your day, I have a whiteboard behind my desk where I've written a bunch of video ideas, I've written what I want to do, I've written who I need to text in that day, I've written all the things that I kind of need to get done and not necessarily need to get done, but want to get done. Having that behind my desk has been a really, really good way to remember because when I look, I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do that now. Equally, if you can at all, try and stay in touch with people. I know that being on Zooms and having your laptop and being like this on a video with however many other people for an hour or however long your Zoom is can be kind of tiring. I'm quite an introverted person, I'm sort of 50-50, but even then, sitting on Zooms and having to attentively stare at a screen instead of being in a physical space can be quite difficult, but it is very important to make sure that you're still talking to people, you're still interacting. It's really, really good for you. We were made to be sociable beings and talk to each other, and dependent on your country's guidelines, please follow them please. Back to the channel. So the exciting thing is I have a lot of videos planned. I know that sounds crazy because I seemingly say I have videos planned and then I kind of don't and I don't make them and I leave the channel empty. But I'm not going to. And also I ended up filming two and one filming this video so you'll get another video next week that is already filmed. The only downside is I'm going to look exactly the same in next week's video as I do right now, but that's okay. I have some song covers planned. I've been practicing loads and spending loads of time on my instruments whilst I've been at home. I've got a list that's like this long in my journal um, of songs to cover and there must be... There's at least nine songs on there. So that is a lot of song covers for you all. I want to make some more kind of normal, just this kind of vlog, but... My life's kind of boring at the moment, as most people's, most people's, that's not English, a lot of people's lives are, but I still want to make some vlogs because it, I find it really fun and kind of therapeutic just talking to you guys about whatever it is. So I do want to make some more vlogs and I have some vlog ideas planned. And the most exciting one, drum roll please, future me is I'm starting a new series. I've had this series planned forever. Since I started a YouTube channel, I have wanted to make videos of this sort. This series is currently unnamed, but in essence, it is a series where I wanna talk about my faith. I wanna talk about being a Christian, how you can apply it to practical life. It's important to note, this isn't going to be a theology series because I am no theologian. I find it really, really interesting, but I really don't feel qualified to talk on it, but I'm happy to recommend some channels and people and podcasts that are, if you are interested, and books. Speaking of books, I want to talk about some of my thoughts from the devotional books that I read. Some of you will know me, and you can probably guess, knowing that I'm a Christian and a musician, 
I do loads involving worship uh, and I really really love worship music so I'll probably do some things talking about worship music. Uh, I have some other videos planned around topics like faith and fear. I really need to think of a name for the series so if you have a name that you think that might be clever then please please send it to me put it in the comments below I'm always open to suggestions and generally a whole bunch of topics like that videos that are made more specifically to talk about my faith because as you know if you know me I talk about it all the time anyway because it's a really important part of who I am but these will be planned specifically to talk about different things in my faith, in Christianity, in my personal experience, all of those good things. This will be further down the line because those videos take a bit more planning than my average video, but it will happen and it will come because some of them are already half planned and the video next week that I recorded just is kind of like that. And that is just about everything I wanted to talk about in relation to the channel today. I really really hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope that you got something out of it, I hope that you're excited for what I'm going to be doing and making uh, and creating so that I can share it with you guys. I'm really looking forward to sharing them with you all. I think because I had that period of rest and revitalisation I'm feeling really energised and ready to go and just excited about all the things that I can continue making videos about. And that is everything, making it sadly the end of this video. But you can go away knowing that you've got a video next week and that I have a plan written in a journal, I know, for everything that I want to make. On that note, stay strong, stay safe, stay smart and stay special. Goodbye! I did not think I would make two videos in one, especially at it's now 10 o'clock and it's really, really warm. Bye bye.